Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday. I know we have some families that are out on break this week, um, and others are looking forward to a really long weekend and hanging out with friends and family there. Our family has three different spring breaks between all the different schools that our kids are at, so it's been a very interesting month already. Um, I started actually a new reading plan with some of the F3 guys this past week, and it's a 30-day reading plan, and it has been great so far. I'm loving it. I want to share just a realization that I came to yesterday when I was working through my readings for the day. Possibly the most popular and profitable movie genre right now is the superhero genre, right? Between the juggernaut of the Marvel Universe and all their movies and the growing momentum with DC's characters, um, people are really paying a lot of money to produce superhero movies, and then even more people are paying to watch them. Have you guys ever stopped to think about why that genre has such a drawing effect on us as people? I think it's because we have all had this call to something epic inside of us. We look around at a very normal life and we crave something more. We see the 40-hour work week as something we have to break out of. And in these movies, that's exactly what happens. And since we often feel trapped, we will live through the storyline of the hero that we see on the screen. But guys, it doesn't have to be that way. There's plenty of epic things for us to do right where God has planted us in our lives. In Matthew 18, 12 through 14, Jesus tells a story about a man who has a hundred sheep and one has gone astray. So what does that man do? Does he settle for the 99 that are still safe at home and resign himself to being thankful for just those? No, not at all. He goes after the one. In verse 13, it tells us, and if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than the 99 that never went astray. And then Jesus connects the story to its real meaning in verse 14 when he says, So it is not with the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. God has a heart for the lost and a passion for seeing them found. Luke 18.10 says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. That same epic mission was handed down to us when Jesus ascended back into heaven. Our weekly schedule may seem mundane, but we have the opportunity to do epic stuff for the kingdom when we understand what our calling is. Those daily interactions can have heroic purpose when we see our greater purpose, right? We serve our friends and our families in the job that God has placed us in, and we pay the bills and all that kind of stuff. But we can still be heroic when we see the, seek after the lost. So my challenge for you guys this week is to not settle for a mediocre existence. Be epic. Find missional moments in your daily rhythms and then make the most of those just like the superhero that you are. God has called you to a mighty existence with a mighty mission, so don't settle. Be epic this week, guys, and we'll see you all real soon.